KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 14th of February. I'm James Spann, Alabama getting a badly needed chance to dry out today and tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, cold mornings, cool afternoons, but rain comes back next week. There's the upper look this morning, troughing over the eastern third of the country, pulling down that colder air we feel this morning. Temperatures are below freezing in many spots. We have 27 for Cullman. Decatur, Huntsville, Haleyville, 26. We're expecting a high in the, I'd say, low 50s, upper 40s in most locations today. Around the nation, it is really cold. Some of the coldest air so far this winter up north, where we've got uh, some spots that are down to 20 below zero over Minnesota. That's not wind chill. That's the actual air temperature, but the core of that stays north of here. There's the watch warning map, a quiet morning. For much of the country, those splotches of green across the southern state, those are river flood warnings. And no thunderstorms today because the air is cold, dry, and stable for a change. But the rain comes back. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning of next week. Most of Alabama, one to two inches. And the bulk of that's going to be toward the middle of next week. Although maybe a few showers could pop up this weekend on Sunday near the Gulf Coast. But let's go to modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06C run, 3 o'clock this afternoon, troughing over the northeast, and again, a dry air mass. Lots of sun, highs today, upper 40s, low 50s. Tomorrow, again, a chilly morning. We'll start the day below freezing in most spots. The high will be close to 60. The sky will be sunny. Another beautiful day. Now, Sunday, moisture begins to come back, and there could be some rain near the Gulf Coast, Maybe places like Dothan, Andalusia, but for most of the state, the day should be dry. High clouds will increase. The high should be in the 60s. And really the same thing on Monday. A mixture of clouds and sunshine. Any showers most likely over the southern quarter of the state. And then Tuesday, a cold front comes in with rain increasing statewide. That's not a severe weather look, just rain at times Tuesday. Tuesday night, maybe into Wednesday. This is Wednesday afternoon, and this is suggesting at that point the bulk of that batch of rain will be over. But notice the next wave on the front over Texas, and that could push more rain in here Wednesday night or Thursday morning. It's going to be very hard to get the timing down on these rounds of rain next week. Uh, this is Thursday. The GFS looks dry. Wouldn't be shocked if we did see some rain Wednesday night or Thursday morning. And a week from today, Friday the 21st, a zonal flow, and that's a dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 23rd. A little shortwave ridge here. Looks like rain moving in from the west if this verifies, and I guarantee you this will change. Rain for Birmingham. This off the GFS Ensemble. The mean, almost 5 inches. The pattern stays very wet uh, for the rest of this month. And the numbers. Look at the big warm-up after this uh, cool snap we have now. Highs approach 70 Tuesday of next week, and after that they drop back into the 50s for the latter half of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.